It's my video. A little closer. Okay, okay. Just, just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. It's fine. Hey guys, I'm here to introduce myself. Um, my name's Catalina Herrera. I go by Cat, even though I'm clearly a dog person. I don't really know what I'm doing. So some of you might know me from TikTok. Um, I'm Kat the dog groomer. Um, that is my profession, that's my career. I am a dog groomer slash pet stylist. That's what I do for a living and that's my full-time job and I love it. it. I'm just here to discuss about who I am, what I do, and what my channel's gonna be about. So like I said, my name is Catalina. I go by Kat. Um, I'm 23 years old, I'm an only child. I live in this apartment all by myself. Uh, it's just me, my dog, and my two guinea pigs. I'm just here to talk about what I do, why I love doing it, and how I got into it. So like I said earlier, if you don't know me, I have a somewhat popular account on TikTok. I'm Cat the Dog Groomer. I like to share the videos of all the dogs I get to groom, what I do while I'm grooming them. I'm here to help share some tips with you guys, what you can do at home, what you should do to get your dog associated with grooming stuff so they know how to handle it. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see, any questions I can answer. I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, but I'm really excited. So I have always been an animal lover ever since I can remember my top three favorite animals of all time. I had a list, okay? It was elephants, dolphins, and cheetahs. Those were my all time favorites and they still are. I've always been a big animal person. Dumbo is my favorite. <laughs> um, so I knew the second I was able to, I knew I wanted my first job to be at a pet store because hello, that's the job for me, right? I love animals. I wouldn't mind working with animals all day. That's what I looked into after I graduated high school. Once I was 18, I was like, great, I wanna work at a pet store. In my hometown, I actually applied for the PetSmart because some PetSmarts have like a pet hotel. So I figured, what a great job. I'll just babysit dogs all day. Perfect. <laughs> so I applied there and you know, they let me know. They're like, hey, you know, we're actually good with staff in the hotel, but would you want to work in the salon, our, our grooming salon? I was like, I know that was a thing, but okay, sure. Yeah, I'm down. I'll wash some dogs. I don't care. And they were like, are you guys, are you afraid of big dogs at all? I was like, no, I am not intimidated by any size of dogs. That's the nice thing about growing up with dogs is I feel like I understand their behaviors, their mannerisms their thoughts fairly well. That's definitely something I recommend if you're gonna go into like any sort of animal services, animals career, you gotta know, you have to study the animal mind. They think way differently than we do and we have to be able to interpret that. We need to read their signs, you know, so it's good to know some animal background when going into a job like that. Anyways, after high school, I was like, you know, I'm actually gonna be moving. So I didn't take the job at PetSmart, I was very, grateful that they reached out and wanted me to work in their salon but like i can't i'm gonna be moving i would only be here a few weeks that's not gonna do anyone any good so after i moved i obviously needed a job your girl had rent and bills to pay so i applied at petco which was at the local pet store of where i lived at the time and i was really excited and i got the interview they were like what makes you want to work here i'm like i am an animal lover i want to work here I've always thought of the perfect job for me would be at a pet store. I would learn so much and this is where I want to be. And so I got hired, I worked out on the floor, I was doing the cash register, I was taking sick animals to the vet if they needed to go, like the mice or hamsters, things like that. I got to do stock, I got to learn, you know, certain things about the pet food and whatnot, etc. As you know, sometimes when I was at the register, I would get to like play with the rats or, you know, when it was like closing time. Um, so it was really fun and then eventually like maybe five or six months in my manager approached me and said hey we have a lot of groomers that are gonna be going on maternity leave soon we're gonna be down staff how would you like to work in the grooming department and I was like hmm I would be down you know the great thing about at the time was me working in the grooming department is that I would get more hours and I would get more money which was really important at the time because you know paying rent and being a full-time college student i always needed money so i was like heck yeah sign me up and i was actually really nervous and move into the grooming department i i didn't really know what i was doing but i was excited to learn but i didn't want to make any customers mad but i was i was nervous excited 
Um, so I started the first few weeks just kind of observing, learning how our computer system worked, learning how the appointments worked, just kind of learning how do I trim a dog's nails, what do you do during the bath, how do you express their anal glands, like, ugh, all the fun stuff. <laughs> how to clean the salon, you know, all, all the stuff. Then from there, I was trained to be a bather. I did all the bath dogs, you know, sometimes when it was really busy, I would wash the dogs for other groomers just to kind of get them rolling because... I had nothing else to do and then a few months in maybe like five or six months into me being a bather um, they notified us that Petco was no longer going to be having bathers if you wanted to continue working in the grooming salon you had to work full time and you had to be a groomer so that meant I had to learn how to cut dogs hair and I was really hesitant towards that at the time I was just I wasn't very confident that I could do it and I was really nervous about upsetting other clients. So after a lot of training and uh, patience with myself, patience with the dogs, I got the hang of it. I would definitely say it took me a good maybe year, year and a half to really get confident in my grooming. Um, it was I really struggled with like the breed clips for like schnauzers, cockers, poodles. Sometimes I still struggle with it, but I really worked hard to kind of do my own research when I could. I would look up YouTube videos of like, how do I do a top knot? You know, how do I get those schnauzer brows perfectly? Before I started working in a pet store, I always studied uh, like dog breeds in my free time. Like I remember when I was a kid, that I worked on my own dog encyclopedia. So I would go online, I would go through dog breeds A to Z, I would copy and paste their pictures and their typical weight, their typical height, their uh, what illnesses they tend to get. Do they get hip dysplasia? Are they prone to more heart issues? So I was always really studying my breeds because I knew in the end, I wanted a career that was towards animals because that's what I've always been passionate about. Luckily, I, I already knew a lot of the breeds and it was really exciting to see them. I was really excited to learn about how, how to groom them, what works best for them. That's how I got into grooming, you know? I have been doing it for like four, four and a half years now. It's been really great. I've gotten to a point where I've built up a lot of my own clientele and it's really exciting. It's really rewarding. I think the best thing about being a dog groomer is, for me, I was always set on, I want to be a veterinarian, I want to work with animals, and as I got older, I realized that's really hard, you know, there's some things veterinarians have to do that's, that's tough. It's hard to put a dog down, it's hard to, you know, break the news to owners that, hey, things aren't looking good right now, and I learned that a lot as I got older, um, and when I got into dog grooming, I realized, you know, this is the feeling I was looking for in a career. I, it's something I'm excited to do. Being as caring as I am, it's really rewarding to feel like I'm making customers happy and feeling like I get to help the dogs too. You know, because their grooming maintenance is important for their health. You don't want their nails to grow into their paw pads. You don't want their hair to get matted. It's uncomfortable. You don't want their ears to get infections. So Grooming is like a way of helping animals that's not as intense as veterinarians, but it's still vital and it's still important. That's the nice thing about grooming is like, I feel like I get to help animals in a totally different aspect. I was so shy as a kid. I never thought I would be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with people so well, but grooming has really just like brought out this totally different side of me. I think the biggest thing I hope to achieve out of my YouTube channel is to just kind of share my life with you guys. Uh, you know, if you're, if you're interested, um, I want to be able to give you the tips and tricks that you can use at home to, you know, help maintain your pets at home. As far as grooming, I wanted, I want you guys to see that dog grooming isn't, shouldn't be a bad or scary thing. It's, it's super important for your dog's health or even your cat's health or small animals. They all need it. All these domesticated animals, they need a little help. Okay. So I'm really excited to just kind of share my life with you guys and to give you some tips and tricks, maybe do some, I don't know, homemade dog treats here and there. Just, just have fun and get to know you guys and you guys get to know me. Definitely sound off below, you know, what kind of questions I can answer for you guys, what kind of videos you want to see. You know, I definitely want to do a grooming Q&A, just kind of answering your most commonly asked grooming questions. I want to leave product recommendations, so we'll definitely do a video where I'm going over all the different products that I, that I love and that you should use for your pet at home. So, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe, like, and... 
tell your friends, watch my TikToks. I'm I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to start this journey. I'm really excited to see where it's going to take me us, you know, it's it's so exciting. So yeah, that's how I got into grooming. Let's see what other videos we come up with and I'll see you guys later. Bye.